conclusion, I am proud to add my name to the list of distinguished winners of the Meritorious Student Association Student of the Year Award. That is a great <laughs> speech, Simone, and I'm so proud of you. I can't believe you going to Princeton. Hey, the association's honoring you, too, you know. Yeah, but all I get is my name on a plaque. You get your name on a check. Well, without that check, I sure wouldn't be going to Princeton. <laughs> hey, Simone, Marcus just woke up. Hey, how's Mommy's little man? TK, stop trying to act like you know how to handle a baby. There ain't nothing about my godson I can't handle. Ooh. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, shoot. I can't handle this. Oh. For someone who was so smart, why did you make TK Marcus's godfather? Well, he's my boy. You know, we've been friends since we were kids, and he was there for me when Marcus was born. Well, I'm glad you're here for Marcus now. Why's that? Because I can't handle him either. <laughs> ceremony is on Friday, but I will be here all week to get to know each one of you individually. Welcome to the association. Well, Simone, uh, congratulations on the Student of the Year Award. Uh, thank you, Gordon. Even though I did score higher on the SAT than you. <laughs> but I'm not bitter. Gordon, this award isn't just about academics, it's also about leadership. I'm a leader. Who's the first man on the football field every Friday? Gordon, that's because you're the band leader. Yeah, band leader. Which brings me back to my original point. I am a leader. Oh, excuse me, Mrs. Fields. Hello. So you must be Simone, our student of the year. Uh, yes, Mrs. Fields, and this is Zaria. Oh, yes, Zaria Peterson. Well, it is a pleasure to finally meet such gifted students face to face. You should be very proud of yourselves. Oh, thank you very much. And thank you for that scholarship. You know, without it, Marcus and I would be lost. Who's Marcus? Oh, he's my little boy. Uh, you want to see a picture? Oh, I wasn't aware any of our recipients had children. Oh, yes, yeah, Simone, she's a, a great mom. Sometimes I don't know how she does it all, you know, being a single mom. Yeah, well, that's very nice. However, there is a problem. We expect our recipients to be role models, and being a single teen mother is not the kind of example we want to set. But... Doesn't being a good mother and being a good student make her a role model? Well, maybe for her child, but not for our association. I'm sorry, Simone, but I am going to have to take back the scholarship and bar you from the association. Ah, hey, everybody. Hey, 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 hey. Guess what? You are looking at a brother with a new career. Yes! My prayers have been answered. It's a job that's going to utilize all my talents. My wit, my charm, my... In <laughs> my intellect, and my fashion sense. Who's he talking about? <laughs> you are looking at the Big Apple's hottest new personal manager. Personal manager for who? Man, some of New York City's biggest entertainers. Oh, I'm a great magician, Uncle Kelly. You have to sign me. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Go ahead, sit down there, son. There you go. <laughs> See, right now, I'm focusing on the big talents. Like who? Ah, uh, Jerry, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Family? Uh, child, child, pay attention now. Put the car down. <laughs> there you go. I want to introduce you to my first clients. You've probably seen them on Broadway. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, Clancy, Skillet, get in here. <laughs> well, sit down there. Hey, you're Trilloquist, wow! They were on Broadway? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
43rd and Broadway. You know, right next to the pretzel cart. <laughs> Fancy. Show me what you got. Hey, Skelet, how you doing today? Doing real fine, Clancy. Did you hear this one? What did one dummy say to the other dummy? I don't know, Skelet. What did one dummy say to the other dummy? It's all wood! <laughs> It's all wood. It kills me. Man, I can't believe this guy did not have management. I can. <laughs> so what do you think, Rob? Uh, I think I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> oh, come on, honey. Kelly's just trying to work. Yeah, come on, honey. Look, I'm just trying to work. And you know, I just need one little thing from you two. What's that? Some office space. And a desk. And a file cabinet. And an expense account. <laughs> you need anything, Skillet? Yeah, new management. <laughs> we might have to get rid of him. Hey, Dad. Hey, Z. What's wrong? Dad, you are not going to believe this, but Simone was kicked out of the association. What? Yeah, they found out she had a baby and they took away her scholarship. What does having a child have to do with being a great student? If anything, she should get a scholarship for having straight A's and raising a child. You're absolutely correct. I don't know what Simone is gonna do. She was really counting on that scholarship. Are you sure this is the final word? I mean, maybe there's somebody that she can talk to to uh, work it out. Well, I told her to go talk to Mrs. Fields, but she said she doesn't want to beg anybody for anything. But she can't give up. I mean, there's so much at stake. I know, you're right. But maybe I could go talk to Mrs. Fields. I mean, I could explain to her what a great person Simone is and how she really deserves that award. I think that's a great idea. Kelly Entertainment, Inc. <laughs> What's going on here? Hey, 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 I'm glad you guys could see this. Let me... <laughs> As you can see, Kelly Entertainment is booming. <laughs> Introducing Nick the Magnificent! <laughs> Nick, look, look, I, I told you, son, all right? You're not quite ready for the big time yet. Come on now, look, it's nothing personal. Kelly! This is a little more than we bargained for. Jerry, come look, please, all right? Don't judge me until you see my acts, all right? Go ahead, sit down. Let's have a little look-see. Cece, check this out. <laughs> Rob, put the bag down and enjoy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what you are about to witness are the world's most spectacular acts. First up, fresh from hip replacement surgery is the magnificent Zeno, the world's oldest living gymnast. <laughs> Zeno is about to attempt the death-defying splits. <laughs> Split it up. There we, go. there we go. Split it up. There we go. This is with one hip, mind you. <laughs> Next up, balloon man. <laughs> the hand is quicker than the balloon. Watch this. It's magic. It's magic. A horsey. Hey! A cow. A sea monkey. <laughs> I'm a sea monkey. Hit it, pop it, grab it, kick it. <laughs> Marcel Marceau has nothing on this next young lady. Is, is she in a box? Rob, I don't know. <laughs> what, what's going on? The walls are caving in. You can feel the tension, the pressure. She can't get out. She can't get out. Get, get out, baby. Get, get out. She, she, she couldn't get out. Ta-da! <laughs> so what do you think, Rob, huh? Do I have an eye for talent, or do I have an eye for talent? This isn't talent. This is abuse. Hey, check this out. <laughs> it's going to be my greatest achievement ever. An orangutan. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Fields. I'm, I'm glad I found you. Hello, Zaria. Is there something I can help you with? Uh, actually.
Actually, there is. Um, Mrs. Fields, I wanted to talk to you about Simone. She's worked so hard, probably harder than any of us, and she really deserves that scholarship. Well, Zaria, I I'm sure that she's worked very hard. But as I told you before, the association has high moral standards, and Simone doesn't meet them. Okay, so she had a baby. That doesn't make her a bad person. Zaria, we have standards, and we're not going to change them. Although, honey, it might make you feel better to know that you are now the student of the year. What? That's right. Now that Simone is out, you get the full scholarship to the school of your choice. I don't want your scholarship. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I don't want to be part of an association that treats people this unfairly. I quit. Hey, Mom. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, So, how did it go today? Well, not too good. I tried to get Simone back in the association, but that woman won't budge. Sorry to hear that. And then they had the nerve to offer me the Student of the Year award. <laughs> With the full scholarship? That's great. But I turned it down. I can't do that to Simone. Why not? <laughs> Mom, I can't. And I quit the association. Hey, Z. Hey, way to represent. Are you gonna pay her college tuition? No. <laughs> then stay out of this. Now, look, Mom, Dad, I thought this over, okay? I'll get 10 jobs and work my way through college if I have to. Uh, uh Zaria, it's not about the money. It's about what's best for you. I mean, this is Simone's battle, not yours. But, Dad, you were the one who encouraged me to go down there and speak up for Simone. Speak up, yes. Quit, no. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, you know, to, to be totally honest with you, I agree with the association. What? Zaria, Simone is supposed to be a leader. A leader makes good choices. At her age, the right choice is abstinence. Mom, I know, and I understand what you're saying, but I think they should make an exception for Simone. Honey, uh, Zaria has a point. I mean, she's a teenage mother and an exceptional student. I don't deny that. But most teen mothers never finish high school, let alone go to college. If the association wants to discourage girls from going down that road, I am all for it. Well, I have to do something. Tomorrow, I'm going to organize a protest and let the whole school know how wrong the association is. Uh, uh, Zaria, you've already talked to Mrs. Fields. Uh, a protest isn't going to change anything. Oh, come on, Dad. When you were in school, you used to protest everything. <sighs> protest. Me. <laughs> is a disgrace to this country. Man, we'll go to Canada first. Right on. Where the streets are paved with bacon. I'll play hockey. I'll do it. I'll... Oh, no, you're going. And you're going right now. Get your hands out for me, jab turkey. Right here, don't let him take your front. We gotta cut it off. The kids in the class behind you can't see. Let me go, pig. Let me go. Come on, y'all, peas. Love, man. Ow! Love, everybody. Don't cut my front. Oh, my oh, my I can't go back on no train ball head. What, what, what? Now, I don't know if a protest will change anything, but I have to try. Sorry, since you feel so passionately about it, I won't discourage you. I'll respect your right to speak your mind. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. It's good to know I have your support. And I'm gonna stand behind my friend Simone. Oh. Our little girl is growing up. Mm-hmm. You'd think they never saw a balloon before. <laughs> How's the show go, Uncle Kelly? Oh, man, we rocked. That old folks' home has never seen a show like ours, man. They were spitting out dentures and cream corn left and right. <laughs> Where's the world's oldest gymnast? Oh, you mean Zeno? Uh, well, they made him stay. <laughs> I told him not to do the splits, didn't I? Uh, when do we get paid? Yeah, chump, give it up. I got a hot date with a footstool. <laughs> <laughs> Here you guys go. Something for both of you. Five dollars. 
five dollars and five dollars. Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> Everybody happy? Did she mime something about my mama? <laughs> what she said is, you fooled us. No, wait, wait, wait a second now, time out. What do you mean, fooled you? You told us we were going to be playing Carnegie Hall. Uh, no, 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 no. no. Uh, what I said was, you'd be playing the Carnegie Room at the retirement hall. Let me in, let me in. Yeah. Now, we're going to go get new management. No, I, wait, 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 wait. No, uh, excuse me. You guys can't go anywhere. You see this? I have contracts with y'all. We didn't sign any contracts. Oh, no? Mm -hmm. Anybody got a pen? We're out of here. Take me with you. Come on. No, wait a second. No, don't, don't go nowhere. Take the dummy. Oh, um, excuse me, excuse me. Um, the Meritorious Student Association prohibits single mothers from becoming members. Really? Yeah, and my friend Simone Hayes, she lost her scholarship because she's a parent. So if you think that's wrong, can you sign my petition? Sure, I'll sign this. Okay. All right, thanks. Hey, you guys are members of the association. You want to sign this petition first, Mom? Sorry, uh, I'm sorry. I'll be a senior next year. I don't want to lose a chance at a scholarship. OK, so I understand. Uh, Zaria, I, I just wanted to say thank you for what you're doing. Oh, Gordon, this petition is the least I can do. No, no, thanks for dropping out. I am now the student of the year. Full scholarship, baby. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to sign it? Why would I do that? It would be against my own best interest. It would be a stupid thing for me to do. Gordon, you look very nice today. Give me that pit. <laughs> Zaria, put that petition away. What are you talking about? This is the only way we can get you back in. Zaria, there's no reason for you to suffer because of my situation. Yeah, Z.A. Yeah, Simone's right. You can't quit. But I can't stand what they've done to you. Look, Zaria, I'm really upset that I lost my scholarship, but I do understand their point. You do? Girl, I'm a survivor, not a role model. Now, they think by giving me this award, they're encouraging teens to have babies. I don't know whether it does or not, but I don't want to be that kind of a role model. But, Simone, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to college like I always planned. You know, it may not be Princeton, but I'm going to get my college degree. I'm going to get me one of them uh, master ones. <laughs> Look, Zaria, uh, I appreciate all you've tried to do, but you can't give up your scholarship. And I want to be there on Friday to cheer my girl on. Are you sure? I'd rather you get it than anybody else. OK. Well, at least Mom and Dad are going to be happy about this. You better hurry up and tell Mrs. Fields you changed your mind. Well, I got to tell Gordon, too. Oh, yeah, his mom is making matching outfits for the ceremony. Get out of here. <laughs> and now it gives me great pleasure to introduce the student of the year, Zaria Peterson. Yeah! Members of the association, fellow recipients, family, and friends. Oh, look this is at a her. prestigious award and She's a great a honor, and woman. I am very grateful. That is our baby girl. Mm -hmm. I am very grateful for the Meritorious Student of the Year Award. But some of you know I had mixed feelings about accepting this award. Oh, no. That is your daughter. <laughs> I've come to understand the association's point of view. Whew. That was close. <laughs> and I respect it. But I hope, as a member of the association, I can encourage them to look at future applicants on a case-by-case -case basis. For instance, if a high school student gets up throughout the night to take care of another human being while also finding the time to volunteer at a children's hospital and maintain a perfect GPA, I would say that was a meritorious student. And from the looks of my petition, many of you agree with me. Would those of you who signed my petition please stand? Join me in applauding Simone Hayes, who has done all of that. 
and I dedicate my award to her. Nobody has ever done anything like this for me before. Thank you. Girl, please. This is just the beginning. I'm going to circulate my petition nationally. Okay. <laughs> Zaria, that was a beautiful speech. We're very proud of you. And I think I can help Simone out. I'll talk to the financial aid office at the university about getting you a scholarship. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Peterson. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Aww. Aww. I mean, she's a teenage mother and an exceptional student. <laughs> Way to represent, Z. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Are you gonna? <laughs>